All right, the last thing we're gonna do today for the four easy mods under $150 is a uh, Blue Master American Thunder uh, muffler delete. So this is specifically for the 2.0. I believe it also works for the Pentastar. Um, basically, we're gonna take the stock muffler off and you just, it's just a pipe. It's high clearance. Um, so it gets rid of what a lot of people complain about is dropping that muffler off uh, onto a rock as you're going off stuff. So I'm not so sure that it, I'm gonna like it. Uh, there, everything I've heard said there isn't any drone, but uh, we'll see. So uh, we're gonna do a cold start on it um, with the stock exhaust. We'll go through the installation, which is super simple. It's basically a muffler clamp. And then we take the old muffler down by removing the hangers. The hangers are held on to what we need the tools for today are a 13 millimeter socket. That'll take off the hangers for the uh, stock muffler. Um, and then a 15 millimeter socket loosens the clamp and it's really that easy. So let's go for the cold start. So we're underneath the JL right now. So there's the exhaust clamp. And then there's one of the exhaust hangers. And then the other is right there. And it's much easier just to take the exhaust hangers off and then slide the muffler out. All right, this is just the 15 millimeter exhaust clamp. One of the nice things is that everything is new, so nothing has rusted yet, so it all should come off really easy. All right, and then we'll go to our 13 millimeter socket, and that's going to take off the All right, you just gotta rotate the um, rotate the mounts down so they're out of the way of the bracket, and then you basically just have to walk it right out. All right, so this is uh, the muffler out. These are the aluminum clamps we just got to pop that through a little bit of wd-40 and they'll pop right out and then you can see this pipe and this is what we're trying to get rid of which is a flattened out section of pipe that comes off the comes off the back of the tailpipe once it leaves the catalytic converter so and this is what we're going to a mandrel belt piece that's going to run high and tight i'm going to show you how much room is available now You look underneath there now, look at all the space that's, that's there that wasn't there. <coughs> now, the reason why I went to the Flowmaster kit, it just comes with a, a nice tip. All this, this one up here <coughs> so have been bent. <coughs> we'll straighten that out though. this stuff up.
So it's not perfect, but it's going to be hidden anyway. But that's pretty good. So we're going to reuse um, the stock exhaust hanger on the driver's side. Uh, basically, just push it off the muffler. Um, this face, of course, is facing toward the vehicle. This one does not have a nub on it. Like you can see, this has a mushroom head right there. This is just a straight piece. It slides on and then it comes with a, a keeper. So when you open this package, if you get this, uh, the hardest thing is getting this clip out. <laughs> <laughs> if you get this, make sure you don't lose it because it has to go on to hold everything in place. Once you get it started, what I found is the easiest thing to do is just take a socket. Pound it in. I just put the uh, the two bolts for the exhaust hanger uh, back in the frame so we wouldn't lose them. And this is what it looks like. It's tucked up nice and tight. You can see just a simple installation. There's a stock exhaust bracket. I mean, if this is what you're going for and it sounds good, man, this is the way to go. So let's do a cold start here in just a second. Right, guys we got uh, everything uh, installed uh, for the exhaust we showed you what it sounded like inside and I mean outside the vehicle so now we're gonna do um, inside the vehicle at startup and then we're gonna do a uh, road trial so you can see what the road noise is uh, while it's running So if it's picking up, it, it is a little bit louder uh, than stock as we noted on the outside. Um, but we'll let it go ahead and warm up till it kicks off of the high idle and you guys can hear what that sounds like. There you go, the high idle just kicked itself off. So it, it quiets itself, you know, right down um, when it's just like the stock is quiet once it kicks off the, the high idle. So you can hear uh, there is some initial uh, sound. I guess my fear with this setup was going to be that it's going to get a little bit 
um, sounded uh, like some of the four cylinder cars that put those uh, fart cans and things on the back of them that I, I think sound ridiculous. But. not too bad um, so we're just at, we're in a neighborhood so we're cruising at, at 35 miles an hour it's not too bad so uh, we'll get out on a 45 mile an hour and pick it back up and then we're gonna get out on our uh, interstate that's pretty close where we can get up to 70 and see what it's like out there so all right we pulled up to a stoplight so here you'll have a stoplight we're in a 45 mile an hour zone so that'll give you a good test now we do have the insulation package in the panels uh the mopar insulation package so we bought this jeep with that setup in it so that may kind of quiet it some but so it's not too bad you know it has a doesn't have an annoying tone it's got a nice tone i wouldn't call it a great tone but it's I think it's tolerable, uh, especially the benefits that you get from it. Um, you know, as you all saw earlier when we took the old muffler out, there's a tremendous amount of clearance that gets generated by uh, removing that old uh, muffler and tailpipe as assembly. And then this uh, tucks up right nicely right above the sway bar. So I think overall it's a good setup. I'll get used to the, the noise on startup. You know, it's just one of those things that you gotta, I guess one of the benefits that are, are there, it's certainly not as quiet as it was stock, but you know. So we're getting ready to <clears throat> get on to the interstate here. So we'll get up to about, I guess, 70 miles an hour. And that's my biggest fear is that there's a drone in here, uh, you know, when you're going down a highway, because any on a long trip that would get um, annoying. Uh, just like a set of loud mud tires. They're cool in the mud until you drive them down the interstate and you can take it for about 45 minutes before your head wants to explode. So. slides over 
remember the factory tailpipe was a little bit tight um, and we had to do a little bit of fiddling to get that in all the way um, uh, but other than that you know it, it went exactly where it's supposed to be you know the, the tip from an aesthetic standpoint is cool and for $115 I don't think you can beat it so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed Hope you got something out of the install uh, to show you how easy it is it is to do. And uh, if you like if you like what we're doing and uh, want to see more uh, modifications for our Overland setup and just our adventures in general, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. And uh, we'll see you next time.